Hello, it's Jimmy here at Reddys. We have here to look at a Toyota Urban Cruiser. Okay, so he's having constant DPF uh, blockage issues on this. Um, oil dilution issues as well. Uh, it's raising the oil level every sort of 500 miles, he said. So we're going to see if we can find out what's going on with it. Okay, so we're going to use the Tinkar Tink Scan 689BT again. We'll try this on this car as well as the Toyota. Something different. Uh, I'll put the link for this diagnostic tool in the video description where you can buy it with a 10% ten percent discount. Right, let's um, see if we can find out what's going on with this. Hopefully this gives me the information I'm going to be looking for. Uh, we need to figure out what year this is. Okay, so it's... 2011 and it's got a smart key urban cruiser 105,000 kilometers if is that right I can't see the mileage anywhere okay we'll run a health report no fault codes now this guy does do his own repairs and he has got his own scan tool to get the car down here he's been resetting the fault codes and draining the engine oil basically okay so these are the main things that we want to be looking at which is DPF pressure we don't have soot accumulation on these but it's called particle matter accumulation basically it's at 88% he did reset that to zero uh, recently I think on the trip down here uh, the engine oil he has drained out and replaced it because it was overfilled now we can see here, we can see an issue with this reading at minus 9 HPA. So we've probably got a dodgy DPF differential pressure sensor. Uh, sorry, no, going back to the wrong one. Let me see if we've got, if we have the option in special functions to calibrate that sensor. Then hopefully we can get that to correct itself, really. Learning values, confirmation. Let's try and see what's in here. Maybe it goes into something else. It just seems like it's doing a generic sort of one. It's not allowing me to pick exactly. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, AF sensor, airflow sensor, DPF deterioration records. Injector, no, it's not what we're looking for. Pressure discharge valve, we don't have the differential pressure sensor on here to try and calibrate it. So we might try another tool. Okay, we're going to try the Autel Maxicom MK900BT, basically. We're going to see if this gives us any, any different options. Different model cars will work better on certain tools. Um, something that would be missing on this tool could possibly on be on here and something that's missing on this tool could be on that one vice versa it's always handy to have both brands an autel and something that uses launch software basically launch an autel or tinker an autel that is a launch software tool basically this is autel so we're going to go in here now and what we're looking for was the dpf pressure sensor calibration Let's see if we can find that on this Deterioration, learning values. No, so we don't have it on either of these tools by the looks of things. Learning values, confirmation, learning values. I don't know what that does. It's going to bring us into the same menu, I think. Okay, so yeah, it just gives us the same options that the same car did. It's always worth checking on two different tools just to to check that you have the right sort of... or that you have, haven't got something that's missing from there. So we haven't got an option to reset the DPF pressure sensor. Of course, yeah, that's another thing we can do, which is check to confirm that we're still getting the same readings on this tool that we were on the thing car. And that confirms that. We have a 0 0.902. So we have exactly the same. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
see if we can sometimes you can get like a reset on these by unplugging them I've done that in one of my last videos actually where I unplugged something and then uh, oh, I was a uh, external temperature sensor on a Ford Transit plugged it back in and then it started working properly okay so if we plug that out we have a now reading of 993 we're not got a very good clear sorry it's not getting a Got a lot of glare on the screen. Basically we've got a 999 reading now, let's plug it back in and see if uh, it still goes back to minus 9, minus 10. We just checked the condition of the exhaust on this. Got a bit of white powder. Oh we have black soot there but it looks clean to be honest. Just black condensation. Top. There's a lot of condensation on it. See, there is a little bit of damage on that DPF, but with this being an older car, it's, that's not the issue. Okay, so unfortunately, we can't get a DPF pressure sensor for that. Um, now that he knows that the pressure sensor is not working, he's going to go away and change that himself. And maybe we might see it back in the future. We'll have to wait and see. Um, maybe once the pressure sensor is fitted, if we still have an, any more issues, we'll see it again. See you in the next video.